Well, good day there, mate. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Cinecool. How's it going, guys? Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. Now, if you guys have been keeping up to date with the channel and whatnot, you guys should probably know that over this weekend, uh, we actually ended up moving. Now, I didn't actually explain it in a video, but more so, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys should probably, you know, know that uh, our sort of plans kind of ended up changing, and uh, it was sort of like a last minute decision to kind of move this weekend, because we've actually got some stuff going on uh, the next weekend, and basically moving and those other plans are kind of like all coming together, so we thought, you know what, just to sort of like make the next weekend sort of like a little bit more stress-free, why don't we move this weekend. So, we have pretty much uh, spent like the whole entire weekend like moving our shit from point A to point B and uh, I do apologize about uh, no video yesterday guys, it was pretty much because of the fact that because this was a last minute decision and we were moving and stuff, I didn't really have enough time to sort of prepare some content for yesterday. But today I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new place. So, welcome to the cabin in the woods. <laughs> if I find a creepy book in a basement, I'll let you guys no. But I usually always do this when I move into a new place. I usually always show the uh, the new pad, the new crib, the new studio, whatever you want to call it. Now I know you guys are going to say, Cynical, I swear to God, you move like every single year, if not every single six months or so. Uh, it was only six months ago where I was actually moving into the wide open world and entering adult life, because I actually ended up moving out of home. Uh, I'm still actually with my girlfriend as well as my two friends. We've moved into a different place due to... Um, our previous landlord wanting to do some renovations or some sort of building stuff and it was kind of going to interfere with my line of work as well as my flatmate's line of work as well so we decided to move but anyway let's get straight into it so the room that I'm currently in as of right now this is the lounge now all throughout the house you guys notice that we got these sort of wooden walls and I really really like them I think they kind of give off a nice sort of homey home feel don't know what I'm going for there. The really, really cool thing about this place is um, this place was actually my friend Ella, um, her very first home. She actually grew up in this place from the age of, I believe, like when she was pretty much a baby up until she was like 13 or something. And um, I actually met Ella in this house, which is crazy, when I was only a baby as well. You guys won't be able to see it because it's currently nighttime. There is a house directly over there, and I used to live in that house, that was like my first house pretty much with my mum obviously because I was a baby and that's how me and Ella met and uh, now she is my flatmate and stuff, longest known friend and stuff but yeah this is where she grew up so it's kind of crazy, it's kind of like we're returning home in a way the feels. So yeah, basically this is the lounge right here. We have for the most part most of our stuff set up. This right here is the kitchen, so it kind of like goes through the house. You need to go through the kitchen in order to get to the rest of the house. Bevan's kitchen though, um, food. Bacon and cheese, man. This is kind of like this thing sleeping in a box. You all good fam? Nice. So if we move through the kitchen, we will then come into this kind of like uh, computer space thing, Ema Bob, uh, right here. Uh, it's kind of just like another spare room. This is Nick's computer. He's kind of just set it up here in the study room. I don't even know what you call this. The kind of like midway point. This is the midway room, dude. Uh, this is our back section. Uh, it's got a bit of size to it. Clothesline out there. Little shed in there. Storage space bookshelf man if we make our way down the hallway we have the shitter there which is always good always good this is uh my bedroom unfortunately it is a bit messy <laughs> as of right now so excuse me for that um boring stuff in here man that's like a sink that's a uh, washing machine to wash the clothes you know the uh, the grundies in here is the bathroom we got the shower um we got a nice advanced tap that um, is taptastic. We got a bath. Now the funny thing is I actually like baths, all right? So no hate towards baths, dude. Uh, the only time I will really take a bath though and appreciate a bath is when I am like 100% sick and uh, I just kind of got over my sickness. But when I do get sick again, I'm hitting the shit up. Finally, if we come out of the bathroom and into this room, this is where things start to get a little bit exciting. So let me just shut the door right here. This is 
the main room of the house, ladies and gentlemen. This is the studio room. This is my room where I'm going to be doing, obviously, all of the recording, editing, and stuff, and of course, playing video games. And, uh, of course, chilling with my boy. But yeah, I pretty much spent most of yesterday uh, setting up this room because, obviously, uh, my sort of, like, computer room or whatever, studio, whatever you want to call it, kind of priority, and that's why I didn't really have enough time to do anything yesterday. Um, but let's kind of just go through it bit by bit. So this right here I was really happy about. I love shelving. I love like extra little shelves or like units or whatever in rooms where you can put stuff. And so I was really happy to know that we got this in this room, which is fantastic. It came with the house, obviously. It's part of the house. Um, but yeah, all of my Kingdom Hearts stuff is on this one shelf right here, which has freed up a lot of my bookcase because originally Kingdom Hearts stuff used to be up there. But um, Kingdom Hearts stuff is now here, so we've got the Unchained Key poster, we got some games here, the uh, Disney Infinity Mickey suit thing, uh, limited edition Japanese Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, obviously, Sora Statue, uh, most of the Kingdom Hearts games, I am actually missing Birth by Sleep on PlayStation Portable, uh, but other than that, most of the Kingdom Hearts games right there, we got some novels, and of course the play arts, and some like keys, Sora's necklace, and the Oblivion. I actually just tripped up on that, so that's cool. Funny story though, talking towards like the Oblivion or just like Keyblades, uh, you guys should probably know we got this, the Kingdom Key right here, or if, if some of you guys have been watching me for a while, the Lego Blade. Uh, out of anything that, of course, was to break out of the move, uh, was it a hard drive this time? It was the Kingdom Key. Yes. So yeah, that kind of sucks. The Kingdom Key is a little bit broken, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can just get some like glue or something on that. But uh, that is going to be going somewhere up on the wall next to the Oblivion. Down here is the whole computer setup. So as you guys can see, we've got the uh, two monitors there. We've got the Yeti, the trusty Yeti that I've been using for years. Honestly, if you guys are looking for a good line of uh, microphones, if you want to start doing YouTube, Blue really is the way to go. Blue is absolutely fantastic. Um, cap card, mouse, keyboard. Got the PS4 Pro right there. We've got the PlayStation 3. Have my laptop over there, just the TV. A couple of posters, Horizon Zero Dawn, a really cool canvas from one of you guys. Tricks, shout out to you. Awesome work as always. We've got the Kingdom Hearts 2 wall scroll. We've got this guy uh, right here chilling off the roof. If we make our way over here, we then proceed to zip in the board, and I like to keep kind of like all these sort of knickknacks to do with Kingdom Hearts, like on this. Uh, a few bits of fan art that you guys have sent me over the years, which is absolutely cool. Then of course, if we make our way over here, this is the bookshelf. Up the top, we got some uh, different Disney plushes and stuff. Some of those you guys actually sent me, so super cool stuff. We have the Fallout Special Edition, <laughs> Fallout 4 Special Edition few games and stuff in there for PS Vita, 3DS, DS, uh, PlayStation 4 games right there. We got the PlayStation 3 games, uh, some DVDs, and just some other junk down the bottom. This side of the room, uh, we've got more posters, more posters, Marluxia's Scythe. Uh, the problem with this thing, right, there was a perfect space for this uh, damn scythe in my old room at the old house, and as soon as I moved in, I'm like, okay, that's where it's going. I'm going to get hooks for this. I'm going to put it up on the wall. It's going to look mean. I never got around to it. I'm now in this new space, and there is literally zero room to put this fucking thing because it is huge. It's amazing, but it's huge. It's like a life-sized Marluxia scythe, which is kind of a problem because if you guys, like, look at the, uh, the diameters of this room, it is kind of, like, fairly small. I think it is actually only slightly smaller than my last room. But as you guys can see, I mean, like, I've used up a lot of the wall space. The Kingdom Key's going there, and, like, we got posters and stuff around here, the bookcase thing, you know, the windows. And then we've got, like, this little wardrobe with just, I don't know, junk shit. Although, I think what really puts the butter on the toast to do with this room is certainly this little area. So if we, uh sort of uh, grab these curtains right here, and uh, I, excuse me for the curtains by the way, we're getting new curtains, these are just not gonna do, but if we come over here to this amazing Kingdom Hearts sign, which I think I talked about in a video some time back, uh, as well as on Twitter, someone sent me this, and it, it, it's fucking amazing, so let me just switch that out, I don't know what that was, what was that? Alright, we got it, we got it. Can you... Just not for like 30 seconds. But if we switch this bad boy on and then kind of exit the room here, we don't actually have to exit, we just turn the light off. It gives it that nice, just 
nice sort of green glow. And as you guys know, we're all about the color green here on the gamers joint. Once again though, I actually don't know who sent me this, but to whoever actually did end up sending me this some time ago, thank you once again. It's probably one of the coolest Kingdom Hearts things I actually own. But that is pretty much it guys. That is the house tour for today. I thought I would do this just because of the fact that Obviously, within videos and stuff, you guys are going to see me uh, recording in a different location. So, I thought I'd pretty much give you the rundown. Now, really quickly, before I end this video, uh, kind of some important information to leave you guys with. Um, some unfortunately bad news. So, with moving into this place, we actually had to, like, reset up the whole internet situation. And within doing so, it means that we've actually lost our, like, really fast internet speed. So, we're now down to pretty much the slowest speed you can get because we can't go for the in-between option. We can either go on the sort of slower speed or the fastest speed. Now the problem being is to get the fastest speed installed, it takes quite a while, about two to six weeks from what they're saying. With the old house, it took probably about two months. So I'm hoping that the, the whole process with setting that up in this house won't take as long. The reason why I am actually mentioning this to you guys though is the fact that with this slower speed it means that I cannot stream. Uh, it's pretty much a situation of we don't have a fast enough internet speed with the current speed we have in order to stream, which fucking sucks. So I'm really, really hoping that the fastest speed gets installed as soon as possible. So yeah, streams are gonna be on the download for a little while and I do apologize about that because I know I've been a little bit slack on streaming as of recently. It's pretty much just me because of the fact that I've been sick and then after that we pretty much got into the move and now we have a really, really bad internet speed. So I do apologize about the inconvenience, guys. It does suck, but we're just going to have to make do. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the new space in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.